Have you ever pondered the ripple effects of poor management on the trajectory of an employee's career? Today, we dive into the world of sales, exploring how managers with anxiety can inadvertently stifle the growth and success of their sales teams. Imagine a scenario where a talented sales representative, we'll call him John, found himself under the leadership of a manager plagued with anxiety. It wasn't long before John's manager's constant worry and fear began to seep into their interactions. The manager's anxiety manifested in excessive micromanagement, stifling John's creativity and independence. Despite his potential, John's performance started to decline, his morale plummeted, and he eventually left the company. In another instance, consider a high-performing sales team led by a manager we'll call Sarah. Sarah's anxiety led her to create a high-stress work environment, characterized by unrealistic expectations and perpetual urgency. Over time, her team's productivity dipped. Burnout became rampant and turnover rates soared. These are not isolated cases. They are indicative of a widespread issue where anxiety-ridden managers inadvertently stifle the growth and success of their sales teams. The impact of such management practices extends beyond individual careers. It affects team morale, company culture, and overall business performance. When managers operate from a place of anxiety, they create an environment of fear and uncertainty. This inhibits creativity, curbs innovation, and hampers productivity. But what can be done about it? First, companies must prioritize mental health providing support and resources for managers dealing with anxiety. Second, managers themselves must recognize the impact of their anxiety on their teams and seek help. Lastly, organizations must foster a culture of openness and empathy, where employees feel safe to express their concerns without fear of retribution. To recap, the impact of managers with anxiety on their sales teams can be detrimental affecting individual careers, team morale, and overall business performance. To mitigate this, companies must prioritize mental health, managers must seek help, and a culture of openness and empathy must be fostered. So next time you find yourself in a leadership role, remember, your mental state can significantly impact those around you. Ensure you're not only taking care of your team, but also yourself. Because when leaders thrive, so do their teams.